Hi everybody, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Following yesterday's video where I talked about asymptomatic COVID-19 and what this means when somebody's completely well, no symptoms and test positive for COVID-19, I'd now like to talk about actually testing asymptomatic individuals for COVID-19 because I do believe that this is going to become a much more important topic of debate over the upcoming months and year or two within the medical community. And as I said in yesterday's video, never in human history have we ever tested for asymptomatic illness in the way that we have in the last year. We've never tested well people to this degree. So nobody knew what was going to happen or how things were going to pan out. I heard something put very well on social media last year by an experienced doctor who said that in 30 years of clinical practice, they had never once sent an asymptomatic well person for an influenza flu test. And I thought that was a very interesting and thought provoking thing to say. Now, influenza and COVID-19 are obviously different viruses, but they do draw comparisons for very obvious reasons, including the fact that they're both respiratory viruses, some of their symptoms overlap, and let's not forget that influenza causes a huge amount of morbidity and mortality every year as well. So with regards to asymptomatic cases, asymptomatic infections, my own theory hypothesis on this is that if in years gone by, we had tested for influenza in the same way. Supposing we had gone out in the winter and swabbed everyone for the flu. I predict that we would have yielded a ton of positive results in people who had no symptoms. Now, can I prove that right now? I'm not going to do a study. I obviously can't prove it right now, but I can point you to previous studies that have been done. The few previous studies on this issue are actually very interesting, including this one which revealed that up to 80% of people with influenza had no symptoms, so-called asymptomatic influenza. And other small studies which were done before this also showed not insignificant numbers of quote-unquote asymptomatic cases. So this is interesting because if you remember my video yesterday, I said all sorts of numbers had been banded around for asymptomatic COVID-19. And these ranged from 10% all the way up to 80%. So we're seeing that number again here. Obviously, it's impossible to know the exact number because we don't test every asymptomatic person all the time. But what is clear is that a lot of asymptomatic people test positive. And we forget often the basic biology and the basic biological way that respiratory viruses spread. We've got the disease spectrum that I also talked about yesterday, ranging from asymptomatic, no symptoms, all the way up to full-blown pneumonia. And everybody who's exposed to a virus, in this case COVID-19, will fall on that spectrum somewhere. Why will this become more of a debate over the upcoming months? Well, partly as well because countries are rolling out vaccination programs. And let's think here, theoretically, if 100% of the population of any country was vaccinated, that wouldn't mean that the virus, in this case COVID-19, would just magically disappear. It would still be around, it would still be circulating. But the idea of a vaccination campaign, assuming the vaccine works, is that people who are exposed to the virus will have fewer symptoms. Remember that vaccines don't make viruses disappear. And what we're already discovering is that a not insignificant number of people who have been vaccinated against COVID-19 are also testing positive for COVID-19 afterwards when we test them and they are completely asymptomatic. And what could have happened? Well, as I've been saying for a while here, uh, theoretically, if you're walking through an area and you are exposed to COVID-19, there's a few virus particles in the air. If you then seed them in your nasopharynx, you may have never developed any symptoms at all. But if somebody tests you immediately afterwards, you may well test positive and you may have been unlucky. Had you had the test a day or two later, it would have returned negative. But of course, we have now opened up this Pandora's box of asymptomatic testing. And like I said, Nobody knows where things are going to go with this. And that's why the medical and scientific community needs to debate this over the upcoming months and year or two. Especially now, we're still going to get a lot of asymptomatic people testing positive for COVID-19. What do we do with these people? Do we still 
restrict them and put them in quarantine if they test positive and they're having no symptoms. These are all very pertinent issues we should be discussing. So on that note, I would like to invite anyone out there who has any thoughts on this, feel free to comment down below. Remember, science is all about open, free debate and looking at patterns, making observations and doing your best with the data you have on any given day. Thanks everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, follow me on YouTube and Facebook, MedStroke Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again next time. Thank you.